welcome to another review. And welcome to December. I hope you had a good November. And I hope you did well. You know what I mean. Now then, this is Transformers Animated Cybertron Mode Ratchet. And he is an Autobot. There's some artwork of him. And he was at Toys R Us. So, that's incredible. In one of the last waves of Animated and it came out in 2010, which is kind of recent in my opinion. It's only 10 years ago. You can see the iconic Transformers animated logo. Very nostalgic thing there for me. There's just kind of a chill ratchet on the side. Looks a little weird in my opinion. Autobot logo. I kind of busted this box. I was gonna throw it away, but then I was like, I'll keep it. Got some nice repaint. Dude, I want that rat bat. I don't want the repaint, I just want rat bat. And then you got good old Jazz, and then Waspinator, which I do have. That exact Waspinator. Very weird last wave. It was not meant to be the last wave. There might have been a couple of uh, very strange, like, in-between waves. It got a little messy at the end. The background is pretty cool. You got some bendy boys. Lots of them. Animated was horrible for that. And yeah, here's a closer look at the background. Futuristic Detroit. Looks just like it. Just like Detroit. Now I'm going to use the power of magic to pop this guy out. And now I'm going to do not a jump cut. I'm going to do a magic trick. Here I go. And here we have him in his vehicle mode. Yeah, that's one thing I don't really like about an animated, is all the Cybertronian modes are just like, they're normal modes, but with treads, and weirdly defined features. He rolls rather well. It depends on where they are, they're a little stiff. They do the job. You know, pretty consistent color scheme, kind of aligns with his character, you just got that, you know, that red, white, a little bit of black, and then very, very little bit of blue, you know, and also tiny, tiny bit of yellow. It has some very interesting headlights and canopy. I don't know why Cybertronians would really need a canopy. It has his Autobot symbol there on the hood and lots of like very strange flat features. I'm not sure how I feel about that. They would not have that in Cybertron, the, the toy line. A little odd, I must say, especially on the sides. It's just so flat, you know? And his underside is just rough, man. And those aren't painted on the bottom, kind of weird. <laughs> Very odd figure. They were definitely doing some strange things at the time. Here's your boy Tahu next to him. Goes up to about his thigh. He's a deluxe, but he's a little, a little bit larger than all the rest because he has these very strange elevated treads which were very necessary and that's about it really so I guess we are ready for that transformation it's pretty simple pretty interesting you want to pull the hood forward and I kind of did this out of order now you want to take these pieces off put them off to the side and then you want to disconnect his leg here you're gonna pop it off and then twist all of this around, straighten this out, then rotate it, and then it's kind of interesting. You want to rotate that down, and then you want to rotate this out. You can see the back of the tread becomes this foot, which I think is pretty creative. Even though they did this a couple times and animated, because like half the characters had treads for no reason. See, pretty effective. Second leg is very similar. It's just reversed, so there you go. It's not even reversed, it's just flipped around. English is difficult, man. I'm not a native English speaker. And you want to flip this, and there's his work mode. Ha ha, funny. And yeah, just flip it up. You're going to want to lock this into place by straightening these out, and then clicking them together. They're on little sliders, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I wish they did stuff like this more often. You can see kind of where the 
pseudo wheel, wheel is. And we'll plug into that little interesting T joint. And you want to make sure that everything looks good because it's a video. And you want to flip his arms out. Very easy. I don't think I need to explain it too much. Just flip them out. And then they're kind of squampus. So you kind of want to straighten them out. First, you want to lift this backpack down. Just lift it or push it down. I don't know why I said lift. Then you want to rotate these up and then in, and then they'll act as a lock. Rotate his pauldrons up. Same thing with the other arm. Just rotate it, lock it into place. Flip that up. And basically done. You want to lift his head up a little bit. And then, boom, there you go. We have Ratchet in his robot mode. And it's pretty interesting. And he fell over. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. And as you can see, he's actually kind of a large deluxe. Here he is next to your boy Tahu. Let me try and straighten his legs out a little bit. But you can see he's not too much shorter than Tahu. And at this angle, they almost look like they're the same height. It's just kind of camera tricks, smoke and mirrors. I definitely think he looks a lot better in robot mode than in vehicle mode. I think a lot of these strange flat bits kind of get fleshed out or they they get contrasted a little bit more like his legs look a lot better his backpack you know it's in a good spot his arms look pretty good you also can do that if you want you can use it as storage it can actually store you know a reasonably sized thing it's kind of cool and i got some feedback about my audio and it might sound a little bit different in this video than it has in the past because I'm doing it in a different way. I did it the same exact way for the scavenger review. And people seem to like that. Also, Ratchet has both of his horns, which is unique to this figure. It's pretty cool. And he has light piping, but it's kind of terrible. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's very hard to see. You can kind of see it now. You can see his face. It's just kind of the same old ratchet face. Kind of has a smirk a little bit. Looks less depressed than normal. We've all been there, man. We've all been there. And uh, let's talk articulation. His neck can go up and down very awkwardly. And then turn 360. It looks a little weird because his neck is like bent forward. He doesn't have the best posture. But can you blame him? I mean, his backpack looks uncomfortable. His arms are on ball joints, so they can go all the way around. You can T-pose on you. You can move this pauldron if you want. You can do all sorts of wacky stuff. And he has a little bit of a bicep swivel. 360. And then, this is kind of funky. His elbow is like on a double hinge. But it, it's very weird. And it like, it's almost ratcheted. Haha, <laughs> ratchet. I don't know. It, it's like, it's so weird. I mean, he can dab on you, which is incredible. He has good articulation in the arms. It's just weird and I kind of want to say hard to utilize in a way. It's just the proportions are weird. Also, his fist can rotate 360, so that's nice. So the arm is basically the same, but this one has a little bit of looser joints. The other one kind of has a strange action feature built into it. His thighs are also on ball joints. They can spread as much as they need to. He can kick out pretty far, and then kick backwards pretty far. Have you ever tried kicking backwards? It sucks. I always break something. Yeah, his chest can open. He can fit like a thing in there. I guess a thing. His elbows, I mean his knees, his leg elbows, can flip 90 degrees, basically both ways. It looks a little painful. And he also has a leg elbow bend which is a little interesting you can get him into some dynamic poses that was a pretty bad dynamic pose but yellow you know and then his foot has some articulation but it doesn't really amount to anything like i guess you can kind of use it if you want to put him in like a ballerina pose but um it's not super useful you can't really use his heel spur very well it's, it's it's fine. He also has this incredible action feature where if you 
push the white thing on his arm knee, it will uh, slightly erect. I mean, I don't know. It's supposed to be like a power punch thing. But his arm just gets slightly longer. It doesn't even have that much force. It's very awkward. You can do some very strange things where you lock it into place because it can swivel. <laughs> and it just... Why? Why? I'm not a big fan of that feature, honestly. It's a, a lackluster. He also has these, which I don't remember the exact name, but they're basically just anti-gravity things. So he can lift heavy stuff with the power of magnets. So that's cool. Magnets are fun. And I generally like to display him while he's using these. I think he looks pretty good. They also can be used as like fisticuffs, you know, brass knuckles. And I guess this may be, just might be, the thumbnail. I don't know. It, maybe not. No, it's not the thumbnail. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. And then... He can still use this incredible feature, so now his arm can get slightly longer while he's holding things. That's pretty incredible. I must say. Bravo. And, you know, I also have the little sleep ray. <laughs> I love all the names I'm giving these things. You can just rotate this around and then drop it and then plug it in. I only have the gold version because I only have the gold lockdown. I do not have the OG. And just snaps into place. And it's pretty cool. What was this thing even called? It had a very dumb name. It's hard to remember. I'm not going to look it up. It was the sleep ray, basically. And you can see, you can kind of pose with it. It will look a little awkward at times, but you can figure it out. He has the potential to be in cool poses. Okay, so that's basically all there is to him. Would I recommend him? Kind of. He's, he's a very strange figure. He was very finite when he was released. I never saw him. I mean, I didn't go to Toys R Us that much in 2010, but I never saw him there. Um, he's a deluxe, and most deluxes go for $10. Since he was at Toys R Us, he might have been a little bit m more. I didn't see anything about that, but some people, I have heard that he was like $15, and not 10 but that might just be rumors. And adjusted for inflation, that's only like, I don't know, $12, basically. So if you can find him for retail price, I would say get him. I found him for pretty cheap in box. I don't know how rare that is. I couldn't find the other, the original Ratchet. That one was really hard to find. But this one was pretty easy, at least in my opinion. So I'd say if you can find him for an okay price, he's pretty good. He also has a repaint and a slight remold, which is Ironhide. Basically the same figure. Just kind of with cooler paint applications, if we're going to be honest. So, if you can find him for a good price, I'd say get him. But he's not like a must-have, you know? That's all I have to say about this this incredible man. Cybertron mode ratchet. So, peace. Wait. This is like one of the final inbox transformers I have. Here's a freaking shockwave from Cyberverse. That's all I have to say now. So, peace out!